Hi, my name is Nicholas Tarsillo. I'm a processing intern here at IHS Market. And today I wanted to demo for you guys uh, the uh, project we've been working with on Symfony. This is the web desk. It is a implementation of the help desk. Okay, so before we get into the demo, I just wanted to make sure you guys understood some key concepts. So a client is simply a user in search of help. Uh, to be more specific, in this example, uh, we'll be dealing with web clients. The only real difference between a web client and a normal client is a web client uh, goes on a website and is placed in a chat session where they can uh, ask questions from. So that's the only real difference. Um, so a member is just a user subscribed to the bot, provides answers and services to, uh, uh, to clients who need help. So it's essentially just a person on the system that's registered on the, uh, the member system that its purpose is to help clients and help answer clients' questions. Um, then there's the bot. The bot just handles the routing of messages and the general functions of the help desk. Uh, and the client member chat is a multi-user chat on Symfony between the client and the member. It allows the member to answer the client's questions and uh, just basically help the client out uh, and communicate with them. So the member room is a room that holds all the members inside it. It is dynamic, so you can add and remove members from it dynamically. Uh, it's a private chat room. Only members can join or the members have to be placed into the room in order to be in the room by other members. Um, so uh, also, just to clarify, when messages are sent by clients, all the messages will be routed into the member room. Um, then we have a web chat. A web chat is just a chat session created for the client on a website. It's separate from Symfony. And any message sent into this web chat will be routed into the member room or into a chat, depending on if the client is in a call or if he's just asking for help. And has it been helped yet? So, uh, and finally, a call is an object created internally by the bot. It just helps the bot manage communications between clients and members. So here I have a diagram of the web desk workflow. And essentially what happens is, a web client will send a message into a web chat session and uh, that, that message being sent will be detected by the bot. The bot will take that message and route it into the member chat room. Uh, and now that the message has been routed into the member chat room, all the members can see that a web client has requested for help. Uh, next, a member can talk directly to the bot and request to t uh, pull that web client into a call where they can uh, answer the web client's questions. Uh, so the bot will then take that request and create a call for the member and the client. Uh, after the call has been created, it'll, uh, it'll send back the appropriate information and command response, basically confirming that the call has been created. Uh, and then that, and then from there, uh, the client and member can communicate with each other. Um, so basically, what ends up happening is, uh, say a member sends a message to a client, the uh, call will take that message and it will route it into the web chat session. And uh, say the client sends a message into the web chat session, the call will take that message and send it into the multi-user chat session. So basically, this is a this is uh, cross-routing uh, the messages uh, between Symfony and the web chat session. This is the web desk. It is uh, one of the implementations of the help desk. So essentially, a user can go onto a website such as this one and get live help. So they put in their name, their email, a help topic. Uh, okay, so help, I need my password reset and we'll just request help. Okay, so when we request help, we'll get this little 
uh, chat session and I'll say hello an agent is being contacted please describe your problem from here we can describe our problem so I forgot my password and as you can see in back in Symphony all these messages are being routed straight back to the market help desk member room where members can see it and basically what they essentially be able to do is pull these users into calls and so you're gonna see here uh, members on the system have a list of commands they can do they can accept next user they can accept at a client accept at a member you can set their alias show online members show the call cache and see the client queue so I'll just show you some of these commands so we have set alias Nick and just to show you what setting your alias does is if you talk directly to the bot it will actually route that message into your the current room so right now our current room is the member room and as you can see I'm talking with my alias so hi I'll pick up this client anyway uh, you can also do other commands like showing the online members so I'm the only online member right now and as you can see it even retains my alias uh, you could look at the call cache. There's nothing in the call cache because there's no current calls. So the call cache just holds current calls. And then we have the client queue. Uh, there's one client in the client queue, and that's because he's waited. Uh, it's Frank Garcia is the only client waiting to be picked up right now. Uh, and so we're just going to accept this user. As you can see, it'll say Nick entered a call with Frank Tarsillo at market.com, which is really nice. So all the other uh, members get a notification. And if we click into the room, it'll say connected to call. It'll give us some room info, who's in the room. And then it'll also give a transcript of everything this client has said. So I forgot my password. And from there, I can actually uh, assist this client. So, uh, hi, how can I assist you? And as you can see, also on the website, the client is getting all this information connected to call. Client shows the members in the room. And it can see that I, they can see that I said, hi, how can I assist you? And from there, they could answer and say, I need my password reset. Perfect. And as you can see, that's been routed into the Symphony room. It's no longer being routed into the Market Help Desk member room, which is pretty cool. And from there, we can just help out the client. There's also uh, commands within different rooms so I actually have different a different command set as a member in this room and I think I'll show you here right here and there you go uh, so we have room info we have a help summary you can even set your alias within rooms so if we just look at the room info real quick it'll show us once again the clients and the members in the room we can show a help summary which again gives us the transcript of all the help that this user asked for prior to being in the room. And yeah. So now I'm just going to go and tell this user that I reset their password. And essentially, I can just leave this room. And as you can see, once again, His password has been reset. And from here, I can just exit the room. And it says call is ended. And that's essentially it. So pretty cool. It's, it's uh, definitely a pretty interesting implementation of the what help desk. And as you can see, I'm also completely back in the member side of the room. And you can see that this client, it says that the member has left the call and the help session has ended. So that all worked. And also, if this client also wants to go and ask for more help, he can. So you can say, oh, help, I need help again. <laughs> and as you can see, it comes straight through the room and he's placed straight back into the client queue. And from there, I can actually go and accept them back into a room. And it all just works. And it even gives you the new transcript. And I'm just... So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, 
find this interest as interesting as I do. Uh, thank you.